a quick demo of some of the things we've been working on over the past few sprints. Um, as many of you are aware, uh, it is possible to edit posts uh, in Mattermost. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this post. And let's say I'm a sysadmin and I don't want people to edit posts. Now I can switch over to the system console, permission schemes, and edit the system scheme for all members. That this other screen is a is an all member role. Um, and I am going to remove the ability to edit posts. Save that. And then if I go back, try to edit it, you can see that the editability is gone. So this is the new uh, view to edit system schemes. So you've got all members, channel admins, team admins, and system admin has all the permissions. So this is uh, what Jesus has been working on recently in the, on the front end. Um, Jesus, feel free to jump in if there's anything I'm sort of glossing over if you want me to highlight anything specific here. No, no, nothing special is uh, all the interface is uh, pretty rich because have some kind of interaction like uh, the total of uh, groups and things like that is oh, sorry. Uh, have some uh, intermediate state which is the previous one and things like that have some some cool interactions some cool uh, the ux design from uh, mike and and well basically it's, it's it's what you are seeing so it's not much to say but so there's the i guess we could highlight this part the um how you, the channel admin for example here is getting the inheriting the permission from the lower role from all users that kind of thing so you can see here inherited from all members you can click that and it shows you where it's inheriting from highlights it it's kind of cool the toggling um yeah so that's that and then um so we, okay so let me just do some arbitrary edits here um and then so i've let's say i've screwed everything up and i want to go back to the defaults we've got a reset to defaults button here Actually, hold on, let me just remove a couple more things so it's a little more dramatic. Uh, reset to default, you can reset here and it just sets everything back to the hard-coded system when you first set up uh, permissions defaults. So you can save that now and I'm back to where I was, which is kind of nice. Um, what else? Okay, yeah, so we've got um, this team override schemes area. And this is for uh, overriding other schemes. So this was the system level schemes and these will be the team scope schemes. Uh, you can see here that we are, we have not run, we don't have jobs on. So it says, you know, uh, migration jobs are on hold. What I'm going to do is turn jobs on and reboot the server. And then in a second, once the server restarts, we'll see that the migration job is now in progress. And in a moment, we should see it complete. Barring any demo fails. Just give it a minute. What's being migrated right now? This is the um, the the database schema. There we go. So now you can click in here. I'm not going to demo in here yet because I haven't clicked in there yet. I don't think it's actually merged. So, <laughs> but uh, now it's enabled and you can go in there. Um, so what else? Um, yeah. So we also have um, permissions import and export feature, which is part of the uh, platform, not platform now, it's called Mattermost CLI. So actually first I just have to do a little bit of setup for that. Um, I'm going to have to, now that the, the migration is done, I can create a scheme, create a team scheme, and a channel scheme. 
And actually, I'm just going to remove the license to show that. So um, now you can go to the CLI and look at uh, Mattermost permissions. And there are two new commands. There's an export and an import. You can see here the commands. So now we're going to try to do an export. Whoops, we don't have a license. So let's add a license. Try that again. And now we see that it dumps out the um, schemes and the roles, uh, one per line um, into this JSON L format into standard out. So if we want to save this to a file, we can just save it to our desktop um, export dot json l okay and now we've got it on the desktop um you know the file let me just put it up there it is two lines of json um and uh and then from there you can um, do an import if you want and it would just be matter most permit. So basically now picture you're on a new server without uh, the permissions you've set up the custom schemes and roles. And now you can do um, permissions import and just use that file to, um, to import the thing. I'm not going to do it right now because to demo it's just going to, uh, I have to actually delete the schemes on this server and it'll be a little time consuming. I, I did demo that in, um, in our uh, in our other meeting, so yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, any questions? I'm kind of uh, curious about the story around migration. Is there some kind of like expectation that the server is still in use during this? Any weird side effects from that? Uh, no, it's um, George. Do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, the migration requires modifying every row in the channel member and the team member tables. So doing that on startup is going to take potentially hours. Um, so we don't want that um, because that's downtime for big customers. So what we've got instead is a online migration um, that just chugs along in the background doing that. Um, and the consequence of that is you can't use any of the new features in permissions in 5.0 until that migration has finished. So that's why when Martin demoed it, while the migration was running, the create new team scheme button was disabled because you would mess things up basically if you started using custom schemes um, while the migration is running. But once the migration is finished, then you're free to start doing that. Uh, so the idea is no downtime, um, just no new features until the migration has finished. And likewise, the APIs that aren't uh, available during that time return uh, an uh, HTTP I think 501 status. Cool. Um, and then the the whole like you having to enable the job was just for demos. It's automatic, right? It's just gonna go. Yeah, it'll it'll be automatic. Yeah, that was just for the demo. You're right. Is there any kind of like control over rate limiting or, or what's the strategy? Cause I'm kind of imagining this background job turning for hours and hours and then people wondering why is my server behaving weirdly today? So the hope is that it runs slowly enough that it shouldn't um, have any major impact. Um, I've done some sort of modest performance tests of it. Um, and it, it seems to be okay. They're, they're, could be an argument to do like a full blown load test and then run it during that and check that it doesn't grow up grind to a halt. What's the batch size again? It's like a hundred or something. Yeah. So each time it executes an SQL query, it's, it's updating a hundred rows. Um, and then it snoozes for a few minutes, uh, like a hundred milliseconds or something between them. Like I can't remember the exact numbers, but essentially if you're on an install with like millions and millions of team and channel members, it might take a few days to run, but <laughs> Uh, that, that that should mean that you're not, you know, you're if you're on Aurora, you know, you're not, you're sort of, you're, um, you're 
SQL kind of query queue on the master shouldn't explode or anything horrible like that. I have another question, which is uh, completely the opposite of this one. Uh, so if it's a new installation, right? I have never used Mattermost before. This is my first time ever. Do I have to run that migration? So the migration runs automatically when you start up. And if it's an empty database, it'll just complete immediately. Cool. Pretty much as fast as you saw it in the demo, because this is an empty database, essentially. Cool. Does the user get any notification when the job's done? No. Okay. So really, it's just the idea being that they're not going to notice it unless they try to use one of these features, like the team override scheme, and then they see the, the message in line there. So how long, how long can we expect the migration to take? Just in case we get a question from a customer, like, hey, it's been a day and it's still not complete. Is that expected? A thousand users is probably like a minute or two, you know. Um, it's a it's hundred thousand users with loads of channel memberships is where you're looking at days to run, you know, really, really big installs. Um, so the 99.9% .9 customers, it'll probably be done in a matter of minutes, like before they even get around to looking at that page of the system console. Okay. Fail safe, fail saves. Things like, for instance, I'm doing a migration right now and it's going to take days or whatever and the server goes down. Picks up where it left off on the next restart. Awesome. Awesome. You guys thought of everything. That's great, man. One more, one more question. When you reset it to defaults, is there a way for the system I mean, to change what that default is later? Not currently, no. It's, it's a hard-coded default set that, uh, that I just got from what we've been using uh, yeah, just the defaults that, that have been used right now. So um, no, but re pretty easy to implement um, in the future if, if that's a feature we want. Plus, if the system admin really had a use case for that, they could use the import export feature to accomplish that. Just export your defaults. So the, the other thing to keep in mind with resetting the defaults is when you're resetting the system scheme to default, it's going to reset to a matter most default that we preset. But if you're doing um, team override schemes and you reset those to defaults, it'll reset it to whatever your system your system scheme is, and use that as the default. That way, if you've gone through the painstaking process of like saying this is what I want generally, the base set of permissions to be, we're we're leveraging the, that work that they've already put in. I see. So you can re basically you can reset the team overrides based on the system values. So yeah, that, that was the idea. Yep. Cool. Great job, guys. <laughs>